The Guiding Arrow. <laughs> okay, the first one to finish tying a knot can be the captain. It's going to be me, no doubt about it. I'm starting to think that there's something wrong with my rope. <laughs> Tig, you're not going to be the captain. Oh. Look, guys, it's easy. Just watch me. Put this side here, like that, and then look. Ta-da! <laughs> you're all done. Wow, that's awesome. Whoa, look at that. How did you learn to tie a knot? My dad told me, be strong and overcome an obstacle. <laughs> but be wise, you last the whole journey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even start. Hey, you guys, we made sure to only pack our essentials. Uh... Pass the ends to me. Hee! Okay, here we go. It won't take off. <sighs> yeah, we've got too much stuff on board. Only bring the things that you absolutely need. You mean like this? I'm not going anywhere without soap root. Or what do you think? That I'm going to allow myself to turn into a piglet? <laughs> oh, sorry, Kuba. I didn't mean it like that. It was just a figure of speech, I swear. <sighs> Better not touch Kuba right now. He's feeling down. Remember the pig, Lada? She moved to another forest with her brothers and sisters. Hey, guys! <laughs> what do we need that for, We huh? can give it to the monkeys when we arrive. A gift from the taiga spirit to their spirit. We can't be their guest and show up empty-handed. They're really going to love it. We'll take it with us. But... No buts allowed. There's only one rule on this ship. Everyone has to listen to the captain. And as it happens, the captain of the ship is me. It's Kino! 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 Hi! <laughs> Whoa! Look at that technique! Did you see how I taught you? Of course! You're amazing! <laughs> I can see that you're flying now, too! Yeah! We're all flying! We're traveling far away! That's great! The key is not to get lost! You do know how to fly back to your home, don't you? Uh, well, not really. How do you do it? I always know where I am. I don't look. I am an eagle. We birds all have a special sense of direction. Do you have something like that, too? Nope. We don't have anything like that. Stop! Stop the oars! We're not going anywhere until we know exactly how we're getting back again, or we'll end up lost like Lily. Hmm, I know who can help you. Magnetic rivers. They're invisible, and yet they flow all around the planet, flowing from the north to the south. We bird folk are able to feel their currents. We don't have that sense of direction, so is there any way that we can see these flowing, invisible rivers? Hmm. Yes, there is a little trick. Our Earth is just like a great big ball. It is so enormous that we are all pulled toward it. That's called gravity. That's why none of us fall off of it. However, in the taiga, there is a secret spot that's hidden away where there's absolutely no gravity to be found. And that's because of the magical black stone. But reaching the stone won't be easy. No, but if someone manages to break off even the smallest little piece, they'll see that the magical black stone piece will always be pointing from north to south. No matter how you turn it, 
or where you face it, if you do that, it will surely become the guiding arrow. Well, we've got to find that guiding arrow. Then we definitely won't get lost on our way home. Then let's go find that stone. Hey, guys, <gasps> can I go along with you? No, huh? it's much too dangerous. And anyway, the captain must never abandon the ship. But... Uh... No buts allowed. Aww. You see? And you wanted to be the captain. Sometimes it's not so much fun. You're right. We would have to stay on the ship. We would have missed out on all the adventuring. We've searched half the taiga, but we still haven't found anything yet. How are we supposed to find the secret spot? Oh, who's there? Oh, Phil, you really startled me, huh? I've been alive for a hundred years, and this is the first time I've ever startled anyone. A hundred years? Wow. Then maybe you know where we can find the... Hey! Hey, hey! Huh? Who's there? It's me again. Tig, can you help us out? We're trying to find the traveling stone. And you won't be able to find it. It will only appear when the stones become light. Oh, and when they... Oh. Tig, you hear that? She just said that when the stones become light and when they... But... She didn't say when they what. Who's there? Please excuse me. When they what? When who does what? When will the traveling stone show itself? It will only show itself once somebody melts his heart of stone with the sweet sounds of harmony. Oh. Excuse me, Auntie Turtle. We won't bother you anymore, I promise. Just tell us where to go to find these weightless rocks. We really need your help. The midday shadow of a stone birch tree. Oh, knows where. The midday shadow of a stone? Wait, what? Of a birch stone tree. I know exactly where it grows. And it's noon already. We need to hurry. <sighs> Yeah. Tig, look, it's the birch stone tree. Follow me. Yeah. But where are the weightless rocks? Maybe there isn't any such thing as weightless rocks. Maybe it's all a fairy tale. I, I mean, how can stones even fly? Actually, they can. Look at this. Ha <laughs> ha! Hooray! We found it. We finally found the magic black stone. <laughs> now we just have to break off a piece. And I know how. Huh. <laughs> ha! See that? I'm riding a floating stone. Wow. But wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> hey. Um. It looks like we got ahead of ourselves. The magic black stone is pushing all the other rocks away from each other. We'll never be able to reach them. But the turtle told us, somebody must melt his heart of stone with the sweet sounds of harmony. Remember when you threw a stone and it fell and... the magnetic arrow? We, we did! did. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. So now, you will always be able to find your way back home without ever getting lost. Thanks, Thanks so, so much, much Grandpa, Grandpa Eagle. Eagle. Of course. <laughs> it's time for every one of you to all fly the nest, my little ones. Release the moon rings. Lower the rudder. Raise the wings. Full steam ahead! Fly away, my nestlings! Let's do it! <laughs> 
spread your wings. But never forget that. We love you, and we'll be waiting for you right here. I'm really gonna miss them, Grandpa. I'll hold on to the guiding arrow, okay, Leo? Why do you get it? Because I found it. And you're only the first mate. Why not me? I was there too. I helped to solve the riddle. But I found a turtle, and she told us everything. Thanks to me, we found it. Hey, what about me? Get up, lazy bones. <laughs> Time to wake up. What if we skip it today? I'm so sleepy. You sleepy heads. Go, line up, suck in that gut. And now... <laughs> Some water aerobics? What? It's time for target practice. What, target practice? Okay, there's an old stump in a clearing. Well, who will be the target? One, three, two. This will surely be you. <laughs> Why do I always have to do it? Quiet, you. Now get to the hollow. Where? To the hollow! Ready and aim! Fire! Whoa! Missed! All right, enough! Hey, what's with you? Can't you be a good sport? We're playing a game here! Well, it's a horrible game! Huh. <laughs> it's not horrible. It's like the best game ever! <clears throat> Do you want me to show you a real game? Playing Battleship. Hey! All hands on deck! Drop anchor! Aye, aye! Captain, set sail! Captain, I spy some reefs dead ahead. Ensign, give me the spy glasses! Aye! The spy glass, Captain! Helm to port! Aye! Helm to port! Ensign, hoist the colors! Aye! Hoisting the colors! the boat out! When you need something done... Whoa! Well, how about that? You see? Now that's what I call a real game. Ha! <laughs> Big deal. <laughs> On the other hand, if this was a pirate ship... A pirate ship? <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. But where would we get a pirate ship? Why don't we just build one? What? <laughs> Pirates don't build their ships. They steal them. <laughs> All we've got to do is wait for the right moment. Guys, we're going to be late for Mama's lesson. We better hurry up. <gasps> right. Let's get going. Spike, check it out. What? They're gone? <laughs> Are the boarders ready? Boarders away! Charge! Charge! <laughs> Hi, Mappa Pandiga! Oh, we're sorry we're late. The one who is late steals time from the one who waits. And time is something you can't get back. But today I wanted to talk about something else. I wanted to talk to you all about... friendship. Hmm, can anyone break these twigs? <laughs> that is so easy. I mean, look how thin they all are. <laughs> Tig, you can't break a single one. What sort of crazy weird magic is this? Weird magic? <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Why don't you give it another try? Well then, have you figured it out? what the magic is. I know! I know! Pick me! Of course. Go on, Mila. When we are 
together, we're strong. That a girl, Mila. Pirates, cannon on board! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Down with the enemy flag! Huh. A pirate ship has to have a pirate flag! A pirate flag! Yeah. Spike, look how crooked and bent their swords are. <laughs> They're sabers, and it's Captain Spike. Y'all got that? It's Captain Spike. Uh, Captain Spike, uh, what are we going to do when Spatty and Striped come back? Yar, we'll cut them to pieces. Do you see how many cannons we have? Do you see how many sabers we have? Yes. <laughs> They're all bent. <laughs> I also have an idea. A brilliant pirate idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, there will be really thick jungle there? Yes, Mila. Nothing but thick, impassable jungle. And wild animals. And man-eating fish. And aggressive spiders! <laughs> Perhaps we should avoid this desert island. Really? How come? The only way to become a true sailor is on a desert island. But perhaps it's far away. What are we going to do while we're sailing to the island? Ideas? We will gather supplies. You, Mila, collect some nuts. Tig will collect mushrooms. I'll take berries. Okay, let's make it happen. Hey, Striped, getting ready for a distant cruise? That's none of your business. Well, I I'm just worried about you, because your crew is quite wonky. You are the wonky one. Ah, you should have heard what Leo called you. <laughs> he said, Tig's no good as a helmsman. Give him the ship, and he'll sink it just like that. And Mila said, Yes, I can steer myself. Let Teak run around like a good cabin boy for a bit. But from our point of view, it's pretty obvious who the real captain of the ship is. Really? And who is that? Ah, oh dear. Of course it's you, Striped. Only you have stripes on your fur, like a real sailor. Yep, he said just like this. How can he be a captain if he doesn't even have stripes on his fur? And Milo went, we must make Leo a cabin boy so he won't get a big fat head. <laughs> can you imagine? They also said that there's no place for girls on board. Can you believe it? What? What? Yeah, they said that. Can you imagine? Wh what? Yar, pirates! Come on, put her in the brig! <laughs> 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 to help you. Yo ho ho! No, no one will save, save you now! now. Oh no, <laughs> so sad. <laughs> so, you have stripes on your fur. Believe it or not, yes, I do. So what? You'll never become a captain. A captain? <laughs> of you two? No, thank you. I will never step aboard your ship again. You can go play by yourselves, you and Mila. No way, you can have Mila. I don't want to see you again or else. Or else what? <gasps> hmm. What's that? <gasps> it's Mila! Leo, Jake, help me! <laughs> hey, you! Let Mila go right now! No way! Your crew member is now ours. And the ship as well. <laughs> Yo, ho, ho. <laughs> Here we come. Guys, remember when we're together, we're strong. Ha <laughs> ha!
We did it! Yeah! Run, run! <laughs> Wicked pirates! Yeah! <laughs> Leo, I still don't believe it. How could I have been tricked by the Martins? Don't worry about it. You and I are best friends forever. Boys, what's that in Leo's paws? Huh? In my paws? <laughs> twigs! Yes, the twigs, which can only be broken one at a time, but are strong together. Well, let's set sail. The desert island is waiting for us. And sign, hoist the colors. Bad luck. Again. I'm not playing this game anymore. <laughs> look, look. Cuba found Spike again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Spike can't hide to save his life. What? <laughs> what do you mean can't hide? Well, I'll show you how to hide. That means you too, little piggy. <gasps> it's a black frog. <gasps> What's the matter? <gasps> Don't you know? Running into a black frog is bad luck. Bad luck, I'm telling you. <laughs> a black frog! Stop! Stop! Don't move! <laughs> back! Back, I said! Oh, back! Ah, run away! Run away! Oh, big deal. A black frog. So what? It's just a superstition. We don't believe in such things. Okay, we gotta go. Let's go. <laughs> Have a look. Isn't she a darling? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You guys know nothing about being fabulous. Cuba? Are you all right? Leo, what if this thing is actually for real? What are you talking about? A black frog hopped on Cuba, and Spike said that this is bad luck for him. A black frog? Huh. Actually, there is a story I heard before. It's of the spooky swamp monster. In the dark and gloomy forest, in a spooky, noxious swamp, there once dwelled the evil, wicked swamp monster. <laughs> and it was bringing nothing but misery to every creature in the forest. So the kind spirit of the taiga chose to punish the swamp monster. And he turned it into an eerie black frog. But even as a frog, the inhabitants of the forest could not rest, for the swamp monster continued his reign of terror, bringing bad luck to all who crossed his path. <laughs> Rawr, 
So it means Cuba is going to be... <laughs> Don't get yourselves worked up. They say that the curse only works for just one day. If nothing happens to Cuba overnight, then you don't have to worry about a thing. See? Relax. Nothing will happen to him. Together, we'll protect him. Take. Keep your eyes peeled. I will, Leo. By the way, I just remembered one more sign of bad luck. Cuba, spit it out! What of their last years? Everyone knows this fact. The one who eats last year's acorn will have an oak tree grow out of his head. I heard this from Magpie. So, Cuba, you better play it safe. You'll eat tomorrow. Cuba! Cuba! Cuba, you can't roll in the mud! Did you know that there are evil spirits there? That's it. They must be hiding in there for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Cuba, be careful! There could be snakes in the grass! <laughs> Don't be scared, Cuba! We got you! We won't let anything bad happen to you! Look, Cuba, the sun is setting. Tomorrow the bad luck will wear off for sure. We just have to survive the night is all. Yeah, and I know a safe place right around here. <laughs> Bravo, Tig! You found us a pretty good cave. Nothing bad is going to happen to Cuba here. You got that right. Did you hear the story about the cave monster? Nope, Tig. He's somewhere around here. And then the monster suddenly jumps out. Wait, wait, wait! Cuba! 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 Cuba, wait! Cuba! Cuba, wait! Cuba, wait. <laughs> curse must be real. He's doomed to sit in this pit till the end of time, huh? Tig, we need to ask Mappa Pandiga for help. All right. The black frog, you say? Well, yes. It brings bad luck. Please tell me how a small, tiny little frog could have driven Cuba into a pit. Well, it wasn't the frog. He did it himself. He got scared to death and... Well, who scared him that much then? Yes, uh, who indeed? Why are you looking at me like that? Tig? I think all our stories may have scared the living hooves out of Cuba. Oh. <laughs> 
Kids, with your good intentions, you trample the path for your friend right to a pit. You know what? Because of all these bad luck signs, even I started to get spooked. We're sorry, Cuba. How about some hide and seek? <laughs> That's bad luck for sure. Tig! I hope those aren't last year's acorns. Tig! Aw, oh, come on! I'm just kidding! <laughs> <laughs> I'm already fed up with this snow. Tig, it suits you. Spring is over, and it's still freezing. Uh-huh. I really miss all that sunshine, too. <laughs> and I miss the flowers. Come out, sunshine. Where did you go? <laughs> I'm sure it will come out just for you. There once was someone in the taiga who the sun listened to. <gasps> really? <gasps> How exciting! Tell us more, Mappa. Come along with me, kids. The Sun Folk. <laughs> Look at that! Awesome! Mappa, who are they? This is the Sun Folk. What kind of folk? Sun Folk. These animals lived in the taiga a long time ago. It is said that they descended from the sun itself. In cold times, when the sun used to stop giving warmth to the earth, they used to send the chosen one, the strongest and fastest one in their tribe, to talk to the forefather and ask him to turn up the heat. And the sun listened to him. But, Mama Pandiga, how did they talk to the sun? It's so high up. There is a valley of geysers behind the quick river and the big swamp. And in the valley lies the magical sunstone. They used it to communicate. Mappa, where are these sun folks right now? Nobody knows. Some say they left these parts a long time ago. But others believe that the Sun Folk is still among us. They just forgot about where they came from. There, look. To me, this chosen one looks like Leo, don't you think? <laughs> You're right. He does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kids. Let's get going. It's getting chilly. <laughs> Leo! Leo, stop sitting around! Come play tag with us! Tig, I still can't get the Sun Folk story out of my head. <laughs> Try to think on the run. It will warm you up a lot. Just listen for a sec. What if I, I mean, leopards are the Sun Folk? And I'm the Chosen One. You? The Chosen One? Why not? You said yourself that the one from the picture looks a lot like me. Well, he does. It means I have to go to the Valley of the Geysers and look for the Sunstone. Leo, it's very dangerous to go to the Valley. <laughs> Guys, come on, try to understand. If I am the Chosen One, I have to talk to the Sun. Otherwise, summer will never come. Whether you're the Chosen One or not, 
this much? I know. We're not going to let you go alone. Yeah, Tig is right. We'll go with you. <sighs> no way. I'm not going to go in that water. Let me think. I'll come up with something. A raft? Wow, Cuba. You're a genius. Leo, what are you doing? Hop on the raft. You forget, Tig. I'm the chosen one. I have to find the sunstone by myself. Leo! Don't worry, I got this, guys. <laughs> we finally made it to the big swamp. I'm sure that this whole swamp is already frozen or something. Whoa! Maybe not. Leo, where are you going? I'm jumping over it. Leo, that's crazy. Come with us. It is safer together. Don't be afraid, guys. I'm the chosen one. I totally got this. Whew, if this so-called sunstone does not exist, you're giving me a piggy ride back. Uh, 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 Leo, uh, you might want to be careful. Uh, it's okay. I can do this. I am the chosen one. It's okay when you use teamwork and avoid taking unnecessary risks. Uh. Huh? Oh, Leo! Oh. Are you coming? Yeah. You guys taking a nap? Let's go! Oh. Oh. Okay. Now Leo will crawl up to his hunk of rock, say hello to the sun, and then we can go home. Hey, guys, what about the geysers? What about the geyser schmeisers? They won't stop us. Mama didn't say that they were hot. Stone! Found it! Huh. Leo, wait for us! Huh? Ow! Uh, they're singeing my fur off! Uh, Leo, watch out! Jara, I'm the chosen one. I'll come up with something. You tried hard, but you see, there's no way to get through. Let's forget about the stone. Let's go home, okay? Uh, guys, you go. I'll catch up later. Chosen one. I got this. I can do this. I'm sorry, Leo, but it seems even the chosen one can't do it by himself. But together, we got this. Come on, push! <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
do it. Leo, do it quickly. Ask the sun for some warmth. No, we should do it together. One, two, three. Hello. Excuse, Excuse me, sun. More heat, pretty please. Be a pal, would you? Together, we just asked it nicely, and the sunshine came out. By the time we came back, everything already bloomed. Nicely done. It has indeed become much warmer. It was Leo's idea. <laughs> he suggested we go to the Sunstone. Thank you, friends. Without your help, I just couldn't have done it myself. Ah, kids. As they say, the one without friends is like a tree without roots. And always remember this. Two heads are better than one. Okay, Tig, let her play. And we'll get Martig on board. That's him in the grass. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old cedar, raise your voice. Martig, come join us. No, no can do. I've got pine cones to collect here. Why do you need so many, Martig? Well, it's for an important task. <sighs> Follow me, I'll show you. That's where a cedar pine grew. It burnt down. The spruce was here. Also burnt down. Yeah, the red deer spared no one. <laughs> and this is my home tree. Well, it was. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old cedar, raise your voice. Quiet branches, don't be loud. Mark to hear is sleeping sound. Little squirrel, now you sleep tight. Close your pretty
That's the lullaby that our tree sang to me. This tree sang it? <laughs> it's true. I heard it in the rustle of the leaves. Martique, what do you need the pine cones for? What do you mean? For the seeds. I'll collect a big pile of them. Then I'll plant them, and our forest will grow big again. Then you should have said so. And you really shouldn't be making up singing trees. Cube, go on then. Get digging. We're planting a forest. Tig, wait. Do you know how long it will take them to grow? A century. There must be some faster way to do it. No, children, I don't know of a faster way. But I do know one legend. That was a long time ago. The tiger was visited by an enormous red deer and set the whole forest ablaze. The fire was so strong that even the spirit of the tiger himself got scared. The spirit hid in the last cone on the very top of the tallest cedar tree. The cedar started reaching for the sky to save the spirit of the tiger. The red deer couldn't reach the cone and he retreated. The cedar opened the cone its seeds were scattered, and wherever they hit the ground, a forest started to grow really fast. Because that cone had the magic power of the spirit of the tiger. Since then, the cedar has been here. They call it the Great Cedar, because it saved the tiger. That's the story, kids. Wow, Mappa Pandiga, I thought it was called great because it was really big. But as it turns out, it saved all of the taiga. Hmm. We must find a way to get to the highest cone. What if it's a magic one? Let's just plant regular seeds here. Tig is scared. <laughs> uh, I'm not scared. Tig, come on. We'll climb it somehow. That's what we have claws for. Huh? It might get windy. Ah, uh, what we should do is get the cone by throwing a stone. Hey, guys, up there, look! <laughs> Not far now. It's magic! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> 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 What do we do next, Leo? We'll scatter the seeds around from the top of the very tallest tree, like in the legend. That way, the seeds will be spread far and wide. The tallest tree here is my home tree. <laughs> ah! It's a monster! Uh -huh. Run! Uh -huh. Look out! Martique, why didn't you warn us about such a, such a... Uh, because it wasn't uh, there. It must have appeared because of the fire. Did you see how black it was? I did. That's because he must be an ash monster. And he's here because he doesn't want us to plant the magic cone's magic seeds. What do we do? Make it leave. Take that and, and that and no. there. Against such a big, strong monster, we don't stand a chance. But I've got a plan. Listen. Hey, monster! Look what I've got. It's a magic pine cone. If you want it, come and get it! What? It's not magic. <laughs> and the magic cone goes to Martique. Martique, go on. <sighs> it's too high. Martique, be careful. <gasps> Flying on a wing, I 
Who won't scare at night? Magic dreamland here awaits. Don't be scared. It's the tree spirit. It is calling you with grace. Did no one hear that? Listen, that's... We'll show you the pretty world. That's his lullaby. It is full of magic goods. It's all true. are done by the power of love. And if you have a magical pine cone, that also helps. <laughs> Tiger Patrol. Know what I was thinking, Leo? Ah, how our dear Tiger is so vast and beautiful. Right you are, Tig. I've been wondering. There must be other countries. Of course there are, kids. Mapa Pandiga, can you tell us something about other countries? Oh, that's very interesting. Just for an example, there's a place where it never ever snows. <laughs> yeah, right. Next thing you know, you'll be telling us that striped deer live there too. <laughs> Do they ever? But there aren't deer. The horses! Listen here now. That land is called Africa. It's full of wondrous animals. A giant with a leg instead of a nose. A toothy lizard the size of a huge log. A beast with a neck so long that it can eat the leaves off the top of a tree. And although they look different, they are similar to us. Just like us, they are friends with each other. And they too love their land. Sometimes they get into trouble. And so, I've heard that for times like that, they have a special team of heroes in Africa. They're called the Guardians. Should any animal need help, they come to the rescue. They are always ready to help. These guardians are known around the world. Wow, it must be great to be a guardian. I wish I were in that, what do you call it, Africa? I would love to be a guardian. Tig, we don't need Africa. Let's make a team of our own, right here, in the taiga. Wow, Leo. That's a really cool idea. Leo and Tig, guardians of the taiga. No, Tig, the guardians is taken. We have to call ourselves something else. Something for the taiga. Well, how about the taiga patrol? Ha! Awesome! The taiga patrol comes to the rescue. Ah, <laughs> I just can't. Spots and stripes down there. <laughs> the Tiger Patrol. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Enough. Just, just go away. No, 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 no. You'll fail anyways. You'll make fools of yourselves. <laughs> That's right, you'll fail. <laughs> Leo, so who are we going to help first, huh? Here you go, Mila. Oh, hi there, boys. Thank you so much. We're not boys, Mila. We're the Tiger Patrol, and you can let everyone know. Come on, Tig. Let's go see if someone else needs our help. Mr. Snake, except that we're, uh, not children. 
We are the Tiger Patrol. Look at them, huh? Soon everyone will be talking about these do-gooders. Let's just, let's just throw cones at them, huh? No way. I've got an even better idea. Come on, come on, left, good. Hello, Beaver Bro. Do you need any help on your Beaver River? Huh? No need, thank you. We can manage just fine. Goodbye. All right, Tiger Patrol. If we're not needed here, let's just go. Yeah, the Tiger Patrol. Well, now that changes everything. Get put that log over there for me, please. <laughs> just be careful. <laughs> hey. Sound the alarm! Yeah, we've got a leak! Oh my dear! How unfortunate! <laughs> Get lost, you! Get out! You were playing not a patrol! Uh, so you are the Tiger Patrol? Sure! Who else? I am so glad that you're here. Some wasps built a nest on our tree. Now we're afraid to go back to our hollow. Help us, please. Ha! Piece of cake. We'll move it for you, no problem. Tiger Patrol now? Nothing better than knowing the whole tiger respects you. Here, here, here. And then like that. Here. We'll help you, and we'll deliver it right to your burrow. <laughs> we are the Tiger Patrol. Ah! Ah! Help us! Help us! Ah! What's wrong? Ah! We just want to help you. The beavers and the squirrels. The, warned us that the, the patrol is nothing but, 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 but trouble! Ah, uh, help, help! I'm us. confused. Help. Did we even help those squirrels? Tig, I think I know who's behind this. Uh, Spike, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Setting a trap. Spots and stripes will be passing here soon. And I've got a surprise for them. <laughs> Spike! Spike! Quiet! Ha! <laughs> I really set them up, eh? Now the name Tiger Patrol makes everyone run scared! <laughs> I knew it! You're just up to your old tricks again! And you are going to pay for this, you imposters! Ha! <laughs> I bet you can't catch us! <laughs> 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 We've got to lead them to the trap. <laughs> be Spotty Patrol. <laughs> You're gonna be banished from the tiger for good. That's it. You're gonna get it for good. <laughs> 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 you got caught in your own trap. <laughs> hey, patrol, are you there? Please help us. Pretty please. Oh, please. No way. <laughs> Stay there and think about what you've done. Hey, you can't leave. Don't go. Please come back. Oh, Mappa, nice to see you. We are the Tiger Patrol. <laughs> Heroes. Can you tell us where we can go to help somebody? I don't know, kids. Ah, maybe the spirit of the tiger will tell. He knows this forest well. How can he tell? <laughs> he doesn't even talk. Of course he talks to you. With signs, you just need to learn to see them. Someone out there needs us. Thank you, Mappa Pandiga. Tiger Patrol, to the rescue. Patrol, please, any patrol. Just get us out of here. <sighs> Who needs help here? Oh, I can't see you. We're, We're here. here. Help, help us. us. Why 
quiet down, will you? We won't be able to hear if anyone needs help. They are the ones who need saving. Who do? The Martins? But they're the ones who built this trap to capture us. And now we're supposed to just save them? Yeah, we want to do good deeds. And they just hurt everybody. Leaving someone in trouble. Ah, that's not a good deed. No, that's not what heroes huh? should do. Spike, why did you get in the way of Leo and Tig? Because everyone's talking and talking about them. Yes, that they're so kind. Yeah, so nice. We want praise. <laughs> I get it. Leo, Tig, why don't you put Spike and his brothers on your patrol? Mm, well, I don't know. Please take us on, and we'll be sure to behave. We, we promise. promise. All right, fine. You can join. <laughs> but only so we can keep an eye on them. Well done, children. All righty then, Tiger Patrol. Let's do it. Good deeds can't just go and do themselves. <laughs> That's what the spirit of the tiger says.